The DRDO is considering to select a new private sector production partner for the Tapas Medium Altitude Long Endurance Drone after it clears user trials, which is currently manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited. Allowing private sector companies to take over the production of the Tapas drone with transfer of technology will speed up the production of the UAV. Many private sector companies including Larson and Dubro have also expressed interest in many of the systems and subsystems that have been developed for the TAPAS program, for utilizing them in their medium altitude and high altitude long endurance UAV programs. L&T had announced recently, that the company is investing 15% of its cash earnings in aerial drones and autonomous underwater vehicles, and is developing large drones that will have an endurance of 72 hours. The Defence Ministry had issued a request for proposal for the procurement of 100 more K-9 Vaj retract self-propelled howitzers to Larsen and Tubro in November 2022, and once L&T responds to it, the contract negotiations will begin. Officials have said, that the follow-on order could not be more than the volume of the first order of 100 units, so the number was fixed at 100 more howitzers. The second lot of K-9 Vajra will be deployed in Ladakh sector, and a third lot of 100 howitzers will be ordered in 2025 for deployment in the Chicken Neck Corridor. Tata Motors has delivered 92 high-mobility 6x6 all-terrain all-wheel drive trucks to the Royal Moroccan Army, that will used for the loading unloading and transportation of ammunition pallets spares and other operational equipment. It can also be configured for a variety of applications, including a multi-barrel rocket launcher, a missile firing unit, a short-range surface-to-air missile, and a quick-reaction surface-to-air missile. <laughs> India has decided to upgrade key airfields at Nyoma in Ladakh, which is the country's highest airfield located at an elevation of 13,000 feet and less than 50 kilometers from the line of actual control with China so that it can serve as a forward base and operate Tejas Light Combat Aircraft and Mirage 2000. The existing advanced landing ground in Yoma sees Apache and Chinook helicopters, and now a 2.7-kilometer runway with allied military infrastructure will be built at the airfield, that will also allow large transport aircraft for quick movement of troops and material. The Indian Army is developing a programmable handheld adapter, that can convert a standard Android cellular phone into a satellite phone. The Army has satellite radio sets for communication, but they are mostly used to connect larger units and formations, and converting mobile phones into satellite phones, would allow faster and more convenient one-to-one -one communication and data transfer between individuals or small groups on the move. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has delivered the fifth fast patrol vessel to the Indian Coast Guard, and also held keel laying ceremony for the fifth and sixth anti submarine warfare shallow water crafts for the Indian Navy. The 900 ton vessels will be armed with six lightweight anti submarine torpedoes, 30 mm naval gun, 12.7 mm stabilized remote controlled gun, and RBU 6000 anti submarine rocket launcher and will undertake anti-submarine warfare duties and subsurface surveillance.